Robert's right about a whole bunch of different things. Drug addiction, cults, the DNA websites, viral videos, things like that. And I couldn't think of a way of getting into the story. And one day I was sitting, just as Simon is on page one, first sentence of this book, I was sitting in the same bench in, the, in Central Park that he was sitting in. And I was watching a street musician mangle a song by John Lennon. And I thought to myself, what if that was my daughter? What if it's my daughter who's been on drugs and I haven't seen in six months? Well, that would be a cool opening for a book. So that's what I did. I opened the book that way, and the rest started to flow. I wanted both parents, Simon and Ingrid, to be involved um, in, in the search. And I really didn't plan it, but they got into the situation that they were in there over, over their head. Uh, Simon and Ingrid are not uh, superheroes. So they got in over their head, and she ends up getting shot. But it wasn't sort of my intention, oh, I got to knock her out of the story, I have to keep her in the story. Uh, the story is more organic than that. So it just sort of happened. It's interesting, these new DNA genealogy websites have really become quite popular in America. I don't know how popular they are here. I think all of us want to know about our roots. Um, and maybe secretly, we all sort of hope there's a mystery to our lives, that they're not quite as simple. But what's been interesting, of course, is in real reality, they've really blown apart a number of lives, where you find out your father is not your father, your brother maybe is not your brother, all sorts of family secrets come to light. And of course, as a writer, I love that. <laughs> it was our publisher's idea, the Universal and uh, Vivandi's idea, uh, to have a soundtrack f for a novel. And both Hildur and I thought this was really cool. We've never seen anything kind of like this. So. She has nine tracks and tells you what page you start the track in. And it's, it's, I think it enhances the reading experience. And that's, that's fun to marry the, you know, the art of writing and the art of music sort of together. Um, and hopefully they both will make the other one grow. So it's a fun way of listening to her music and it's also a fun way of reading the story. The other night uh, I read out loud for the first time listening to that. And I felt like I was more emotional reading it better <laughs> than I normally do because I was getting caught up in her cello. Um, you know, she's, she did The Joker recently and she did the soundtrack for a TV show Chernobyl. So it was really an honor. And I think something cool and new to try putting a soundtrack with the book. We'll see if people like it. Yeah.